What is up guys? I am finally, finally back. I have not filmed in like a month and a half. I'm super upset about that. I'm so excited to be filming today. In my last video, it was a Halloween video just to tell you how long it's been. I had said that I probably would only get that video up because we were about to start remodeling our house and it was going to get crazy and that's exactly what happened. It has been crazy. It's still crazy, but I was like, I can't take it anymore. If I wait till we're done remodeling, I'm not going to film for like a year basically. So outside of the frame of this camera, there's a lot going on. We've got countertops and cabinets and new flooring and painting and so much more to do, but it's a work in progress. So anyways, I don't really know what kind of look I'm doing today. I just got some makeup out and I'm going to figure it out as I go. I just really wanted to film something and jump back into it because it has been so long and I'm so excited to be back. So if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, let's just go ahead and get started. So like I said, I don't know what exactly look I'm going to do, but I feel like I want to do something kind of sparkly. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my eyes just so I don't mess up my base. So I'm just going to prime with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. I have not used this one in a long time. I have been using the Tarte Shape Tape like basically everyone has. That is like one of the best concealers ever. I keep trying to use other ones and then I just go back to it. But this one was my favorite before that one came out. And I don't really ever use like actual eyeshadow primers because that's just another product that I have to buy and use. I just go ahead and like do this because I already have it out and sometimes when I'm doing my face first I'll just do this and then just swipe it over here and it's quick and easy and done and makeup takes long enough as it is so the more multi-use products I have the better and then I'm just going to throw a little bit of powder on to set that. Okay so for today I am using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I've used this a handful of times, but I have nowhere near touched all of the colors that are in this thing, so I'm going to dip into it today, but like I said, I have no idea what I want to do, so I need to figure that out really quick. Okay, so I was talking about doing something glittery, and I think I'm going to use this Stila, what is this, the Magnificent Metals Liquid Eyeshadow. This one is in Kitten Karma. It's like a, like a rosy gold kind of color, so... I'm going to use something in this palette that goes with this because this is what I want to use on my lid. Okay, so I'm just going to go in and I don't have the paper of the color names with me and this is the like original one where it's not on the back and I don't feel like getting up to get the box. So I'm just going to show you what colors I'm using. So I'm just going to start with like a mix of these two like flesh tone colors on a Morphe M441 and just put that into the crease as a transition. I still don't know what I'm doing, but I would do this kind of regardless. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with that. I'm also gonna grab a couple of the slightly darker to below that and just put those into the crease as well, just to start darkening it up a little bit. Okay, so taking that same brush, I'm going to go into the shade that's right in the center of the palette. It's like a, I don't even know how to describe this color. It's like a kind of a terracotta kind of color. And I'm going to put that into the crease and kind of the outer corner. I'm just going to keep it lower in the crease than my transition shade. wiped off my brush and I'm just using those same first two colors, the lighter ones, to just help kind of blend out the edges of that darker color. So then taking a smaller brush, this is a Sigma E25 and that like cranberry color right next to that terracotta one in the center. And I am going to pop that onto the outer V 
and drag it slightly into the crease. And then just go back with that first blending brush and no additional product on it. And I'm just going to further blend out that color in the crease. Then taking an even smaller brush, this is a Morphe M506, and I'm taking that dark brown in the bottom row of the palette, and I'm just going to put that on the very outer part right here just to give it a little bit of dimension. And then just kind of slightly drag it in. And then I'll go back with that brush I used for the cranberry color and just kind of help blend the two together. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with the Stila liquid eyeshadow and I'm just going to apply it to the inner part where I didn't put any eyeshadow. Okay, so as you can see, these are like super glittery, super metallic. They're so beautiful. I need to get more. This is the only color I have. But when I got to like the middle, I kind of tapped it out with my finger to start the blending process. And then I'm going to let it like dry for a second and then take that fluffy brush with the cranberry and kind of pat over it. Just so there's not like a really harsh line where it stops. But I'm just going to let this dry first because I don't want to blink and like transfer it up to my crease. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that for now and do some liner, and I'm going to use the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Okay, so I don't know why I even bother trying to do wing liner on camera. It's hard enough in itself, but trying to do it and stay in frame, they always come out so bad. Like, I don't even know if you guys can tell right now, but they are so wobbly and uneven, and we're just going to pretend that they're fine because it's it's just not pretty. It's Every time I try to do it, I'm like out of frame, or I'm like trying to stay in frame, and then it's all just like, I have to get like super close to my mirror to get like a very efficient wing and I obviously can't do that to stay in frame so trying to do it from long distance like one of my wings is down here and one of them is up here and it's not my best work but we're just gonna move on and hope that my lashes cover up most of it so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes apply some mascara and the lashes that I'm using were in like a random container like I've already used them but I think that they are the House of Lashes in the style iconic so I'm going to go ahead and pop those on and then we will move on to the face.
All right, so while those are drying, I'm going to move on to the face, and I'm priming with the Smashbox Photo Finish, just the original clear one. It's just like a smoothing primer. I'm mainly going to focus that on the center where I have larger pores, and then just spread around whatever is left. Okay, so for foundation, I'm using one that I haven't used in a while. This is the Lancome uh, Ultra Wear Makeup Stick. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Um, I have compared this one like in-store to the um, Anastasia one, and this one is so much better. The Anastasia one is a lot stickier, and like, when you try to blend it out, you can feel it kind of dragging across your skin. This one blends out almost like, um, like a powder. It, like, it's a cream, but the way it blends out the finish is just... A lot smoother um, I also like the makeup forever stick that one is kind of between this one and the Anastasia one but I am just going to swipe this all over my face and I don't really know if this even matches me right now I haven't used it in so long but we'll just blend it down the neck and make it work and then I'm gonna blend it out with um, this is a crown brush I don't even know if it's like for foundation, but all my foundation brushes are like dying, shedding hairs everywhere every time I use them, every time I wash them. So um, I'm just going to use this one. It doesn't have a name on it or anything, but that is what it looks like. I think I got it in an Ipsy bag. Okay, so the coloring, it's okay, it's not terrible, but I am going to add a little bit of my NYX Total Cover Drops. I've been using these lately um, with other foundations just to make it like the right color because this is like pretty much my exact shade. And it's so easy to just add a couple drops with this little dropper. And for being such a thin foundation, it's pretty decent coverage. So... You want something that's like full coverage but not super heavy, this is a good one and it's pretty affordable. So I'm just going to mix in a little bit of that. Alright, so that's a little bit better. And then I'm going to go in with the same Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer that I used on my lid. And then I'm just going to blend that out with my damp Real Techniques sponge. And then to set my concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off camera real quick and do my eyebrows because I feel kind of off without them right now, and then I'll be right back to continue with this look. Okay, so brows are done, and now I'm moving back to the face. I'm going to be bronzing and contouring with the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette, and I'm going to take the middle bronzing shade on this big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M527. And then I'm going to take that first cooler tone shade with that Morphe M523 and just use that to contour. So then for blush and highlight, I'm using the Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to take the middle kind of bronzer kind of shade and pop that on my cheeks
Okay, so then I got out my custom Cover FX highlighting drops. Um, I was going to use these under my highlight, but I already had like all my powders and stuff on. I kind of just forgot to use it with my creams as I often do when I'm filming. I forget things. So I think I'm just going to wet my brush instead just to make it a little more intense. So this is a Morphe M501 and I'm just going to use the Mario Badescu Rose Water. Any wetting spray you have will do. And I'm just going to mix the two in the palette which is Champagne Pop and Prosecco Pop. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and finish off the eyes, and I think I'm going to go with kind of the holiday-ish theme, because I've used like glitter and cranberry. I think I'm going to use the middle, really dark like forest green color right here. It doesn't really look green on camera, but it is the very dark, like I said, forest kind of green. So I think I'm going to do that on my lower lash line. Okay, so first I'm going to take one of those transition shades and a dome brush and just start smudging that underneath just to have a little bit like of a transition so it's not just green. I'll blend it down a little bit further than I am the green just so it kind of peeks out from underneath it. So any of the colors that you want to use that are like the lighter transition colors will work fine. And then I'm going to take a little flat definer brush and the green and press that right up against my lashes. Hopefully you can see that. So take that dome brush again and just very lightly go along the edges. I don't have any additional product on the brush, just whatever was left of that transition shade. And just ever so slightly blend it so it's not just a harsh line of green. So I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and a little bit more of that green just because I want to make it a little more intense, but I want to be able to like smudge it at the same time. Then I'm going to pop on some liner on my upper and lower waterline, and this is the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On in Perversion. It's just a black, so I'm going to do my upper and lower. And then I'm going to pop on some lower lash mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot. Okay, so then I'm going to pop on some inner corner highlight. So I'm going to take a little brush and I think I'm going to use, I'm going to try these two lightest shades in the Jaclyn Morphe palette and see how that looks. Yeah, I think that'll work. And I'm also going to pop whatever is kind of left on my brush under my brow.
Okay, so now I need to go pick out a lip color and then I will be right back to finish off this look. Alright, so I'm back for the lips. My hair is pretty big and curly and crazy because I washed it and I just slept with it in a bun and this is what happens and I'm not mad at it because I really don't have to do anything but take the bun out and kind of pick through it with my fingers. So anyway, so I decided to go with a nude lip just because the eyes are so strong. Um, not that you couldn't wear a strong lip, I would totally wear like a dark or bold lip color with this, but today I'm going to go with the more neutral one. So I'm going to line with Naked from Urban Decay. And for lipstick, this is the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Gloss in the shade Dreamy. Just a nude shade like this. And then once I let that dry a little bit, I am topping it off with the NYX Butter Gloss. And this one is, what shade is this? Fortune Cookie. Okay, so that is it for this look. It turned out very glamorous holiday which is no surprise because it is the end of November so Christmas is super close so yeah aside from the wonky ass wings that I'm really hoping you guys can't see I love the way this turned out I have lipstick on my teeth no one is here to tell me about it that's probably cute so yeah I am so happy to like finally be filming again hopefully I can do it more often but like I said there's still a lot going on here but it's a process you know so hopefully I can do this more often but I'm excited that I got to do it today so hopefully you guys like the way this look turned out maybe it inspired you for a holiday look um, like I said if you haven't subscribed already please do so and give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and other than that I will see you guys in the next video bye